Good morning. It is another, well, I guess not so typical Thursday around here this week. The kids and I have a big day ahead of us. Um, we are getting ready to go camping. And this is something actually that we try and do at least a couple times throughout the summer. We have already gone on one kind of camping trip. I don't call it a real camping trip um, because when we went up, it's when we went up to Walden and we stayed in the boxcar cabin. I would say that was sort of camping, but not really. If you guys would like to see details from that video, I'll put a link to it in the description below. But we are actually going to go tent camping this weekend. And this is one of the things that we absolutely love to do as a family. We've done it over the past few years. We love it. We love getting out in the nature and just kind of roughing it and spending good quality time together as a family. So that is where we are headed this weekend and the kids and I have to get stuff together. So I kind of thought while we're putting our things together for this trip, maybe I'd show you how we get ready for a camping trip, share a few tips or tricks with you that we do and if you guys are ever thinking about camping hopefully watching this video will help you prepare um, to the best of your ability too. We're only doing two nights. A lot of our camping trips that we've gone on we've gone anywhere from three to four nights and so we've had to take a lot of gear. So this one will be a shorter trip this time around. So I'm going to try and not bring all of our gear with us that we would usually on a three to four night trip. So that is one thing that is different. Our destination that we're choosing this weekend is called Chins Lake. And um, I think it's about an hour and 45 minutes away from our house right now. So we do have a little bit of a drive. But the other thing is the elevation at this site is 11,000 feet. So we are camping at a higher elevation. And the other thing is this is not gonna be at a campground. Uh, this is something that we have to drive in, you set up, you have to build your own fire pit. Um, there are not bathroom facilities for you that you would have usually as a campground so we're carrying in all our water and this is going to be a true roughing it adventure for us this time we have done similar things like this but it's been more in a campground type of setting where they already have clearing a clearing for your tent where you guys already have the fire pits going up so um, as we get ready for this, I'll go over some of the things that we do and just some of the things that we bring and meals that I've prepped. So hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get ready. A few of the things that um, I'm gonna try and cover in this video is just certain gear that you might wanna take along for a camping trip, groceries. Um, I'll show you the grocery haul that we'll do of all the food that will be up here, packing the cooler, packing the car. And so what I'll try and do is break those up into different categories. And if you guys look in the description below, I'll have each category and the time marker on the video in the description below so you guys can find that if there is a certain thing that you are looking for. Right, so I'm out in our garage. I apologize if the lighting is bad. Um, but how we have set up our camp gear is we usually just keep it all together in these two tubs over here. The reason why we've done that is we have most of our gear, well actually all of it, in these two tubs. We've just made it so it's easier for us just to load everything and go. These two tubs are actually pretty big. We got them at Home Depot. And how we've got it is we usually have a back shelf that goes on the back of our truck so it goes into our hitch and it gives us an extra shelf on the back of our truck. We stack those two tubs in and then we usually put the cooler and sleeping bags and everything else in the back inside of our truck. Since we're only going up for two days, our goal is to just pull whatever we need out of here, condense it into a smaller tub so everything fits inside the back of our truck. Because the destination that we're going, it's off-road quite a bit and that back shelf sits really low and we might be going over some terrain that it might hit or catch on the ground. So we're really trying to avoid using that back shelf hitch. So I'm gonna go over and just get the bare minimums that we need for this camping trip and then I'll show you all the stuff that we're bringing with us on this trip. 
So I've kind of gone through both of our camping tubs, pulled out what I think we're gonna need over the course of the next two days. I've gone over everything and we're gonna kind of just break it up into different categories for you. And I'm just gonna start with the basics. We have this shelf that connects to this hitch right here and we usually attach it and we have an extra shelf that we can set tubs on or bring extra gear so then we have more room in the back of our truck. But this time around, I'm gonna try really hard not to use that just because like I said, where we're going, um, it's a lot of off-roading and that shelf is gonna hit the ground or catch on a rock. I'm only gonna use one of the tubs. I made sure they do fit in the back of our truck. So we're only gonna use one. So I'm gonna fill this tub with as much of the camping gear that we're taking up with us as possible. And then hopefully that leaves enough room on the other half of the truck for us to get all the other odds and ends like firewood, the water containers in, and everything. We just have everything in the back. So at this point, I'm gonna try and break it up into categories of different things that we're bringing with us. So first of all, of course, you have the basics. You're gonna go camping. So these are just the basics that you want to make sure and have with you. We're gonna start, of course, with the basic, and that is your tent. We have a two-room tent. We've had it for a while, but that is all combined in there. So this is our tent. We're, of course, bringing water up. So we have these two containers that we're gonna fill with drinking water. For two nights, I am gonna bring up 14 gallons of water for drinking, cooking, anything like that. And this, what we have, these are actually cots, and they're stackable cots. We got these cots at Cabela's. We love them because they are stackable and it helps save so much room in the tent. So look later on in the video where we have our campsite all set up and everything and you'll be able to see how the cots look. The kids love them, we love them. Um, they do actually fold into a couch if you wanna do that, but it just saves so much more room for inside the tent for you guys to be able to move around. And then we also have sleeping bags that go on the cots. So you guys wanna make sure, work out your sleeping situation in the tent, whether you guys wanna be on the floor, that's fine. Um, we, once again, we chose to do the cots. Setting up the campsite, we're bringing a mallet with us that helps set the stakes up. Since we're doing our own fire pit, we're probably not gonna have a grate that goes over the fire pit. So this is a kit that you set it up, there's a stake that goes in the ground, and this part goes over the fire so you can cook. Small camping ax, so we can cut wood if we need to do anything like that, and then just a small fillet knife. The other thing that you wanna make sure and bring is a very large tarp. This should go underneath your tent, and it's gotta be bigger than the area of your tent. This will protect the bottom of your tent, keep it from getting wet and soaking up underneath into the floor of your tent. The other thing that we're bringing is a small portable table. This is just a small table that folds up because once again, where we're going, there's no picnic table, nothing. So I'm just bringing a small table for us to be able to eat at if we want to, and also for me to have something to do meal prep. Last but not least, these are all of our folding chairs. So they're like camping chairs. So we have four of those, so those are coming with us. That is just the basics of the campsite. So the next thing that we're gonna talk about is cooking at the campsite. We do, um, I do a lot of cooking and just cooking over the fires. I'm gonna go over a few basic things that I'm gonna bring up with us to make sure that it makes it easier when it comes time for meal prep. And I kind of base these items off of the meals that I planned. So as far as cooking and having the things that I need, the main things that I use are the cast iron um, pots and pans. So I have a big cast iron pot that we use for several different things. I'll be making chili this time around. So this is really great. And then I have two um, cast iron skillets that we use. So they'll be coming with us, and that's the majority of the cooking when I'm cooking over the fire. The other thing that I do use in the morning sometime is this little gas stove. I can usually fit one of the cast iron skillets on there, the smaller one, that's why I have a small one. And it is run off of we, of course, now, if you're gonna have that, you wanna make sure and have these small bottles of propane. I found this very useful for our eggs because I always keep the eggs in the cooler and once the ice starts to melt, the cartons get wet. So bring this up for eggs. We have a can opener. I have some measuring cups, measuring spoons, and a small bowl for me to mix things in if I need to. We actually have this to boil water in if we need water. Um, so I do have that. 
We use these kind of as bowls for when I do make chili, so they're gonna come up with us. And then I just have some different utensils. I'm gonna make pancakes, so I just want a spatula, I have a spoon, and then of course to help me kind of meal prep, I brought up my knives. So I've got three knives and also a cutting board. So this is all gonna fit in the black tub. The other things that I do bring up, I bring up a few towels. So I have about three towels that help me dry the dishes at night when we do wash the dishes. And then I have hot pads. And these are old ones. But the reason why I have them is the cast iron does get really hot. So that way we have something to go ahead and handle the cast iron with. So I bring up some hot pads. Then I have these two tubs. And what I do here, I just got these at the dollar store. What I use these for is to help clean up afterwards. So I'll put some water in here with dish soap and just wash the dishes after our meal. That's pretty much the basics of what we're gonna need this camping trip. So really the cast iron is my biggest help and so is that little propane stove. The other thing that we do make sure and bring with us are lighters. So that way it's easier to start our fire, easier to start our little um, gas stove that we're bringing up and um, these are really come in handy. So we usually bring two to three per trip. And the other cooking utensils that we're bringing with us are these. Um, they're great for cooking hot dogs over the fire. So they have really long handle, they're really sturdy, and um, they're just great for the hot dogs and make it a lot easier. All right, one of the other things that I am making sure to take along for this trip is we're gonna talk about when nature calls and you're in nature. Most of the time we've been at um, campsites that have restrooms or outhouses already there. That is not gonna be the case for this one. So if you find that you guys are going more off the beaten path, you're not really in a campsite that already has restrooms available for you guys, I kinda came up with this idea over things that I found. At one point, I started thinking about, uh, it, because it's not always convenient, especially when you have small children, to ask them to just squat in the woods. Yes, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Yeah. So I was trying to think of something that makes it a little easier for all of us, but I don't have to clean up a mess either. When I was in Walmart, just looking at some of their camping stuff in their camping aisle, I found this. It's actually a toilet seat, but it's in their camping aisle because it fits on the top of a five gallon bucket. So I went into our local Home Depot today. I bought a five gallon bucket, but like I said, guys, I don't wanna be the one having to clean this out. So I very nicely went to their tool rental department and asked them if they would so kindly please cut the bottom out of the five gallon bucket I just purposed, or purchased, and they did. What we're going to do when nature calls, I can send one of the kids or whatever with the bucket. They can dig a little hole, put the bucket over it. This snaps nicely on top of the bucket, and there you go. Makes it a lot easier. This is the food portion of our camping video. So we're going on a two day trip. We leave tomorrow morning, we'll be there Friday night, Saturday night and then we'll pack up Sunday and come home. So I have planned for two breakfasts. <laughs> really? Not again! <laughs> breakfast. Okay. I've planned for two breakfasts, two lunches, and two dinners, and then just to have snacks um, in between. So. I went ahead, ordered all our groceries, and this is everything that I bought. I'll walk you through it and tell you what meals I'm using it for. All right, guys, I'll probably just take one roll of paper towels up. Um, I have two cans of diced tomatoes. That's for, I'm gonna make chili one night. That's for the chili, and of course, you can't go camping without s'mores. So we've got the graham crackers, marshmallows, we have two different kinds of chocolate because Lincoln is dairy free. So we got him some dairy free chocolate to do on his s'mores. And then of course we've got the regular. Just some more snacks that Lincoln and Kenya can both enjoy but they are dairy free. 
These are some more dairy-free snacks here. We're trying to eat healthy, so we got some kale crisps, veggie straws. It looks like people already got into those. Um, the kids like to snack on crystallized ginger. Then I just have green olives as a quick snack. This is going to be our one of our breakfasts. Um, I love this mix because all you have to do is add water and it's also good because it's dairy free so Lincoln can have it but it's really easy um, all you have to do is add water to it and mix it so we're gonna do pancakes one morning I got bacon we actually have four packs of bacon we're gonna have it for both times that we have breakfast we're gonna have some bacon on our burgers and I'll probably make some just extra to have um, to put on sandwiches or whatever. So we've got bacon. I got this sour cream for a salad I'm gonna pre-make tonight. It's just cucumbers and onions. So I got this to put on the salad. Pork rinds as snacks and some more chips for the kids. We got three pounds of ground beef and that is for our chili. And then we have two packs of hamburger patties. There's four in each pack. So we're gonna have hamburgers one night. Just some salami, it makes for good snacking, really easy. Lunch meat for sandwiches. These are the cucumbers for the cucumber salad that I'm gonna pre-make tonight. Uh, the night that we have chili, the kids like to have baked potatoes, so we're gonna do baked potatoes with the chili. And then I've got the onions for the chili. This is just to go on top of our hamburgers. This, I'm gonna take um, probably just one of these up in a Ziploc baggie, but it's romaine lettuce. And Luke and I use this instead of bread for our sandwiches. Then I just have some spray for my cast iron skillet for the pancakes. One morning we're gonna do bagels with bacon, so I've got some bagels for the kids. Kenya has her cream cheese. Lincoln has his dairy-free cream cheese. And of course, we have to have coffee. This is the cheese that we can put in our chili. We'll use some dairy-free cheese for Lincoln, but I'll pre-shred this before we leave. Sour cream for the chili. I get it in this container because it's just easier. I'm not having to use a spoon and it just packs in the cooler easier. Lincoln has dairy-free sour cream and then bread for the sandwiches for the kids. Some paper plates, and we won't take all of these, but some napkins. I did get some off in case the mosquitoes are bad. That is our grocery haul for our two days worth of camping. So we've gone over everything that I am bringing with us, pretty much everything. Now we've got all the stuff put in the tub, and just like I said before, our goal is to only use the back of the truck and not have to put the shelf that goes into the hitch on. So that's what we're gonna do right now is load the truck. Okay, we are all packed up and ready to go, kids. We squeezed in there, but we got everything. Uh, one little trick that I figured out that is kind of fun for the kids is first we had their sleeping bags rolled up at a ball at their feet, but then their feet had to stick up. So instead we just unrolled them a little bit and laid them on the seat. As you can see, it actually is underneath the kids, so. And it's actually sort of like a cozy cushion sort of thing. I had Comfortable? I had on my scooter last night. Lincoln, what happened? I had an accident on my scooter last night. Are you feeling better? Yeah. A little bit? All right, let's take a look at the trunk. This is how we ended up, and it is definitely every little inch is taken. I've even got my speakers shoved in there. But we're gonna close it up, and we'll be good to go. It could explode at any minute. <laughs> 
no extra shelf, so we accomplished our goal. All right, now it's time to hit the road.